Bang is my scientifically accurate rhyming comic book about the history of the universe. It takes the reader from the Big Bang up through the formation of the fundamental forces, uh, elementary particles, and the formation of the first stars, and the building of heavier elements, supernova, galaxies, and it kind of leaves off right there. So in the beginning, before time had begun, nothing existed and nothing was fun. Bang begins at the beginning, when the universe was all contained in an infinitely dense and infinitely hot little dot. And then things get going very quickly and everything expands, the universe grows and grows and grows, and as it grows, it uh, cools down, all that heat spreads out, and as it cools down, it allows for particles to form, for uh, forces to form, gravity, electromagnetism. These things just kind of come into being, and they start interacting, and I follow the story. I wrote an illustrated bang all by myself. I went through the manuscript and kind of divided it up into sections, tried to figure out what the different pages would be, what the panels would be like, what the spreads would be like. And from there, I started drawing thumbnails. So, you know, just little small sketches to figure out where things were gonna go. So I drew out my thumbnails, and then I drew some more detailed thumbnails, and then I scanned those. I illustrated the whole thing in Photoshop. So I opened up my scanned thumbnails and uh, just started a new layer right on top of it. Um, at some point, I decided it would be cool to go with a black background and kind of have the text and the images be white on top of that, figuring that was kind of referencing space and you know, back with the beginning of the universe, there's a lot of things that are defined by uh, duality and binary things, so I thought black and white would be very cool. So I started drawing in Photoshop and I got, uh, I bought a tablet and a, a stylus for drawing on the computer. And so I was able to draw, you know, like in the way that was most comfortable for me, although it took a little getting used to because the, the tablet, you know, the image wasn't on the tablet, so I was drawing down here and looking at the screen up here. So it took a, lot, a little while to get used to. Drawing in Photoshop offered a lot of, a lot of advantages that I'd never had drawing on paper or painting. Um, you know, I was able to save, uh, save illustrations at varying stages. I was able to, you know, make one layer disappear and try something else. I was able to change opacities and do blends and different brush modes and. It was, it was very exciting and I was learning as I went. And uh, once I had my illustrations, I kind of figured out where the text was gonna go. Did lots and lots of revisions and then, uh, then I exported it as a PDF, uploaded it to um, CreateSpace, which is a website run by Amazon, and self-published it. And uh, now I'm selling it. So Bang, and really the universe verse as a whole, is really kind of my ode to science. Um, it represents, I guess, my lifelong love and appreciation of science, which I, I think of really as being a love and appreciation of the natural world. I think of science as being um, a way to systematically look at and understand the world around us. And the reason I think it's great is because the natural world is amazing. I've been doing art my whole life, um, ever since I was old enough to hold a crayon. My two favorite mediums are drawing, whether that's with, you know, pen, pencil, charcoal, anything like that, and painting. I've got a few canvases going right now, and uh, I think it's, it's important for me to balance the illustration where it's very clear goal, where I'm, you know, I've got specific drawings that I need to do to progress the story, and then also to have kind of more freeform paintings and canvases, and I can do, you know, abstract stuff or just paint pretty pictures. Just whatever takes my fancy. The next project is, of course, book two in this series. I've written and illustrated and published the first one, Bang, and there are two more books, which I've written, and now I'm going to be illustrating them. Uh, I'll be illustrating book two over this coming year, and I think I'm going to be introducing color, so it'll be a little more interesting, and it'll be telling the story of the origin of life, and uh, watch out for it. It'll be out there by the end of this year.